Question 1. Which method does Cisco SWSA primarily employ for URL filtering? A. Pattern-based filtering, B. Reputation-based filtering, C. Signature-based filtering, D. Behavior-based filtering. The correct answer is B. Reputation-based filtering. Explanation. Cisco SWSA utilizes reputation-based filtering as its primary method for URL filtering. This method evaluates the reputation of a website based on various factors such as its historical behavior, presence of malicious content, and user feedback. By assigning reputation scores to URLs, Cisco SWSA can dynamically block or allow access to websites, providing effective protection against malicious content while minimizing false positives. Question 2. What is the purpose of Cisco Web Security Appliance, SWSA, in an IT infrastructure? A to provide secure web browsing for users B, to manage network traffic C, to optimize server performance D, to enhance email security. The correct answer is C, UCS is a converged infrastructure solution that integrates computing, networking, storage access, and virtualization resources into a cohesive system. Explanation Cisco Unified Computing System, UCS, is a converged infrastructure solution that combines computing, networking, storage access, and virtualization resources into a single, integrated architecture. UCS simplifies data center operations, improves resource utilization, and enhances scalability and flexibility. Question 3. In the context of Cisco SWSA, what is the significance of URL reputation scores? A. They determine the frequency of URL updates. B. They influence the priority of URL categorization. C. They dictate the duration of URL caching. D. They determine whether a URL is blocked or allowed. The correct answer is D. They determine whether a URL is blocked or allowed. Explanation. URL reputation scores play a crucial role in Cisco SWSA's decision-making process regarding website access. Based on the reputation score assigned to a URL, Cisco SWSA determines whether to block or allow access to the website. Higher reputation scores typically indicate safe websites, while lower scores may indicate potentially malicious or undesirable content, prompting Cisco SWSA to block access to such sites. Question 4. Mr. Anderson, a network administrator, notices that several users in the organization are accessing websites with poor reputation scores, leading to security risks. Which action should Mr. Anderson take to mitigate this issue? A. Implement strict firewall rules to block access to all websites. B. Configure Cisco SWSA to allow access to websites with low reputation scores. C. Educate users about the risks associated with accessing websites with poor reputation scores. D. Increase the bandwidth allocated to internet traffic to accommodate increased website access. The correct answer is C. Educate users about the risks associated with accessing websites with poor reputation scores. Explanation. The most effective approach for Mr. Anderson to mitigate the issue is to educate users about the risks associated with accessing websites with poor reputation scores. By raising awareness among users about the potential security threats posed by such websites, Mr. Anderson can encourage them to exercise caution and avoid accessing suspicious content. Question 5. Which of the following components are involved in configuring web security policies on Cisco SWSA? A. Access control policies B. Server load balancers C. Virtual private networks, VPNs, D. Network address translation, NAT. The correct answer is A. Access control policies. Explanation. Access control policies are a crucial component of configuring web security policies on Cisco SWSA. These policies define rules and restrictions for accessing web content based on various criteria such as URL categories, user groups, time of day, and more. By configuring access control policies, administrators can control and monitor user access to websites, ensuring compliance with security policies and regulations. Question 6. In a corporate environment, Mr. Smith, the IT administrator, needs to enforce stricter web access controls during business hours to prevent employees from accessing social media websites. Which feature of Cisco SWSA should Mr. Smith utilize to accomplish this task? A. URL filtering. B. Time-based policies. C. SSL decryption. D. Application visibility and control.
The correct answer is B, time-based policies. Explanation, time-based policies in Cisco SWSA allow administrators to define access control rules based on specific time periods. In this scenario, Mr. Smith can configure time-based policies to restrict access to social media websites during business hours, ensuring that employees remain focused on their work-related tasks. By leveraging this feature, organizations can enforce stricter web access controls based on their operational requirements and security policies. Question 7. What role does Cisco Talos Intelligence play in Cisco SWSA's URL filtering process? A. It provides real-time updates on URL categorization and reputation scores. B. It analyzes network traffic patterns to detect potential security threats. C. It generates digital certificates to authenticate trusted websites. D. It performs deep packet inspection to identify malicious content. The correct answer is A. It provides real-time updates on URL categorization and reputation scores. Explanation. Cisco Talos Intelligence serves as a crucial component of Cisco SWSA's URL filtering process by providing real-time updates on URL categorization and reputation scores. Leveraging its extensive threat intelligence database, Talos continuously evaluates websites and assigns reputation scores based on their behavior and characteristics. Question 8. How does Cisco SWSA handle uncategorized URLs in its URL filtering process? A. It automatically assigns them a neutral reputation score. B. It blocks access to all uncategorized URLs by default. C. It redirects users to a warning page before allowing access to uncategorized URLs. D. It prioritizes categorization of uncategorized URLs based on user requests. The correct answer is C. It redirects users to a warning page before allowing access to uncategorized URLs. Explanation. When encountering uncategorized URLs, Cisco SWSA redirects users to a warning page before allowing access to the content. This precautionary measure helps inform users about the potential risks associated with accessing uncategorized websites and prompts them to exercise caution. Question 9. Which of the following statements best describes the role of URL filtering in Cisco SWSA? A. It decrypts SSL-TLS encrypted traffic to inspect web content. B. It identifies and categorizes URLs based on predefined criteria. C. It distributes network traffic across multiple servers for load balancing. D. It provides secure remote access to corporate resources. The correct answer is B. It identifies and categorizes URLs based on predefined criteria. Explanation. URL filtering is a key feature of Cisco SWSA that involves identifying and categorizing URLs based on predefined criteria such as content type, reputation, and security rating. By analyzing URLs in real-time, SWSA can enforce access control policies and block or allow web traffic accordingly. Question 10. Which of the following protocols does Cisco SWSA support for SSL decryption? A. HTTPB, HTTPSC, FTPD, SMTP. The correct answer is B, HTTPS. Explanation. Cisco SWSA supports SSL decryption for HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, Traffic. HTTPS is the encrypted version of HTTP, commonly used for secure communication over the internet. By decrypting HTTPS traffic, SWSA can inspect the contents of encrypted web sessions to identify and mitigate potential security threats such as malware, phishing, and data leakage. Question 11. What is the primary purpose of application visibility and control, AVC, on Cisco Web Security Appliance, SWSA? A. To optimize network performance B. To provide secure access to web applications C. To monitor and manage application usage D. To encrypt network traffic. The correct answer is C, to monitor and manage application usage. Explanation, application visibility and control, AVC, on Cisco SWSA is designed to monitor and manage application usage within an organization's network. It enables administrators to gain insight into the types of applications being accessed by users, classify them, and apply policies to control their usage. Question 12. When integrating Cisco SWSA with Active Directory for user authentication, What is the purpose of LDAP authentication? A. To synchronize user credentials with Cisco SWSA. B. To retrieve user group information from Active Directory. 
c. to encrypt user authentication traffic between Cisco SWSA and Active Directory, d. to authenticate users against their Active Directory credentials. The correct answer is d. to authenticate users against their Active Directory credentials. Explanation LDAP authentication in Cisco SWSA is utilized to authenticate users against their Active Directory credentials. When a user attempts to access the internet, Cisco SWSA verifies the user's identity by querying the Active Directory using LDAP authentication. This process ensures that only authorized users with valid Active Directory credentials can access the internet through Cisco SWSA. Question 13. In the context of Cisco SWSA, what is the purpose of Kerberos authentication when integrating with Active Directory? A. To encrypt LDAP traffic between Cisco SWSA and Active Directory. B. To provide single sign-on capabilities for users. C. To synchronize user passwords between Cisco SWSA and Active Directory. D. To assign user roles and permissions based on Active Directory groups. The correct answer is B. To provide single sign-on capabilities for users. Explanation. Kerberos authentication in Cisco SWSA enables single sign-on SSO capabilities for users by allowing them to authenticate once with their Active Directory credentials and subsequently access network resources, including internet access through Cisco SWSA, without being prompted to re-enter their credentials. Question 14. Which of the following protocols can be decrypted using HTTPS decryption with Cisco SWSA? A. HTTP B. FTP C. SMTP D. HTTPS. The correct answer is D, HTTPS. Explanation, HTTPS decryption with Cisco SWSA allows for the decryption and inspection of HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, Traffic. HTTPS is the encrypted version of HTTP, commonly used for secure communication over the internet. By decrypting HTTPS traffic, SWSA can analyze the contents of encrypted web sessions, identify potential security threats, and enforce security policies to protect the organization from malicious activities. Question 15. Mr. Anderson, the network administrator, wants to implement HTTPS decryption on Cisco SWSA to enhance security. What is a potential challenge associated with HTTPS decryption that Mr. Anderson should consider? A. Increased network latency. B. Limited scalability. C. Incompatibility with legacy systems. D. Compliance with privacy regulations. The correct answer is A. Increased network latency. Explanation. One potential challenge associated with HTTPS decryption is increased network latency. Decrypting and inspecting encrypted HTTPS traffic can introduce additional processing overhead and delay, leading to slower network performance. Network administrators like Mr. Anderson should carefully consider the impact on network latency before implementing HTTPS decryption, especially in environments where real-time application performance is critical. Question 16. How does Cisco SWSA utilize HTTPS decryption to enhance security? A. By encrypting all network traffic B. By decrypting and inspecting encrypted HTTPS traffic C. By blocking all HTTPS traffic D by redirecting HTTPS traffic to a secure proxy server. The correct answer is B, by decrypting and inspecting encrypted HTTPS traffic. Explanation, Cisco SWSA utilizes HTTPS decryption to enhance security by decrypting and inspecting encrypted HTTPS traffic passing through the network. By decrypting HTTPS traffic, SWSA can analyze the contents of web sessions, identify potential security threats such as malware or malicious content, and enforce security policies to protect the organization's network and data. Question 17. Which of the following best describes the process of HTTPS decryption with Cisco SWSA? A. Intercepting and decrypting encrypted web traffic B. Encrypting all outbound network traffic C. Authenticating users accessing HTTPS websites D. Redirecting HTTPS traffic to a secondary proxy server. The correct answer is A. Intercepting and decrypting encrypted web traffic. Explanation. HTTPS decryption with Cisco SWSA involves intercepting and decrypting encrypted web traffic as it passes through the appliance. SWSA acts as a proxy server, establishing a secure connection with the client and decrypting the HTTPS traffic before forwarding it to the destination server. Question 18. 
Mr. Rodriguez, a network administrator, wants to implement role-based access control, RBAC, in Cisco SWSA using Active Directory groups. Which approach should Mr. Rodriguez take to achieve this goal? A. Create custom access control lists, ACLs, in Cisco SWSA for each user group. B. Configure Cisco SWSA to authenticate users individually without relying on Active Directory groups. C. Assign user roles and permissions directly within Cisco SWSA without integrating with Active Directory. D. Map Active Directory groups to predefined user roles in Cisco SWSA. The correct answer is D. Map Active Directory groups to predefined user roles in Cisco SWSA. Explanation. To implement role-based access control, RBAC, in Cisco SWSA using Active Directory groups, Mr. Rodriguez should map Active Directory groups to predefined user roles within Cisco SWSA. By associating Active Directory groups with specific user roles, Mr. Rodriguez can effectively manage access permissions and enforce security policies based on user group membership, streamlining administration and enhancing security posture. Question 19. How does Cisco SWSA ensure secure communication between itself and Active Directory when integrating for user authentication? A. By encrypting LDAP traffic using SSL slash TLS. B. By using plain text authentication for faster communication. C. By authenticating users through a third-party identity provider. D. By bypassing encryption for improved performance. The correct answer is A by encrypting LDAP traffic using SSL slash TLS. Explanation. Cisco SWSA ensures secure communication with Active Directory by encrypting LDAP traffic using SSL slash TLS, secure sockets layer slash transport layer security. This encryption mechanism helps protect sensitive authentication information, such as user credentials, from eavesdropping and unauthorized access during transmission over the network. Question 20. What is the primary benefit of integrating Cisco SWSA with Active Directory for user authentication? A. Simplified user provisioning and management. B. Enhanced web filtering capabilities. C. Improved network performance. D. Increased firewall security. The correct answer is A. Simplified user provisioning and management. Explanation. The primary benefit of integrating Cisco SWSA with Active Directory for user authentication is simplified user provisioning and management. By leveraging Active Directory as the central directory service for user authentication, Cisco SWSA can streamline user provisioning processes, synchronize user credentials, and centrally manage user accounts, groups, and permissions. Question 21. What is the purpose of the access log in Cisco SWSA? A. To track user login attempts. B. To monitor internet usage by IP addresses. C. To record web transactions and access requests. D. To store configuration changes made by administrators. The correct answer is C. To record web transactions and access requests. Explanation. The access log in Cisco SWSA is utilized to record web transactions and access requests made by users. It provides detailed information about the URLs visited, the time of access, the user initiating the request, and other relevant data. Question 22. In Cisco SWSA, what is the role of the reporting feature? A. To generate real-time alerts for security incidents. B. To provide historical data and analytics on web traffic. C. To configure firewall rules for network traffic filtering. D. To manage user authentication and access control. The correct answer is B. To provide historical data and analytics on web traffic. Explanation. The reporting feature in Cisco SWSA is designed to provide historical data and analytics on web traffic. It generates comprehensive reports that summarize various aspects of internet usage, including top users, top websites visited, bandwidth utilization, and security events. These reports enable administrators to gain insights into network activity, identify trends, and make informed decisions regarding web security policies and resource allocation. Question 23. What is the primary difference between implementing Cisco SWSA in proxy mode versus transparent mode? A. Proxy mode requires client configuration, while transparent mode does not be. Transparent mode offers better performance compared to proxy mode C. Proxy mode provides enhanced security features unavailable in transparent mode D. Transparent mode supports SSL decryption, whereas proxy mode does not. 
the correct answer is A, proxy mode requires client configuration, while transparent mode does not. Explanation The primary difference between proxy mode and transparent mode in Cisco SWSA deployment is the requirement for client configuration. In proxy mode, clients must be configured to use the SWSA appliance as a proxy server, directing their web traffic through it for filtering and inspection. Question 24. Mr. Smith, a network administrator, notices a sudden increase in web traffic and suspects a possible security incident. Which Cisco SWSA feature should Mr. Smith utilize to investigate the issue? A. Access control policies. B. Real-time web usage monitor. C. Malware detection. D. Reporting. The correct answer is B. Real-time web usage monitor. Explanation. To investigate a sudden increase in web traffic and potential security incidents in real-time, Mr. Smith should utilize the real-time web usage monitor feature in Cisco SWSA. This feature provides live visibility into web traffic, allowing administrators to monitor network activity, identify anomalous behavior, and take immediate action to mitigate security threats. Question 25. What is the purpose of the connection status feature in Cisco SWSA? A. To track the status of VPN connections. B. To monitor the health of web servers. C. To identify active sessions and connections to the internet. D. To measure the latency of network traffic. The correct answer is C, to identify active sessions and connections to the internet. Explanation, the connection status feature in Cisco SWSA is used to identify active sessions and connections to the internet. It provides real-time visibility into the status of connections, including active users, established connections, and connection statistics. Monitoring connection status helps administrators identify potential performance issues, troubleshoot connectivity problems, and optimize network resources. Question 26. Mr. Rodriguez is tasked with deploying Cisco SWSA in transparent mode in his organization's network. What advantage does transparent mode offer in terms of network integration? A. Simplified deployment without the need for client-side configuration. B. Enhanced security features such as SSL decryption. C. Better performance compared to proxy mode. D. Support for granular access control policies. The correct answer is A, simplified deployment without the need for client-side configuration. Explanation, transparent mode deployment of Cisco SWSA offers the advantage of simplified integration into the network infrastructure. Unlike proxy mode, transparent mode does not require client-side configuration or proxy settings adjustments. The SWSA appliance operates transparently, seamlessly intercepting web traffic without impacting end-user experience or requiring any changes to client devices. Question 27. Which of the following statements best describes data loss prevention, DLP, on Cisco SWSA? A. DLP prevents unauthorized access to sensitive data B. DLP scans web content for malware and viruses C. DLP encrypts all outbound network traffic D. DLP identifies and prevents the unauthorized transmission of sensitive information. The correct answer is D. DLP identifies and prevents the unauthorized transmission of sensitive information. Explanation, Data Loss Prevention, DLP, on Cisco SWSA is a security feature designed to identify and prevent the unauthorized transmission of sensitive information over the network. By analyzing web content and communication protocols, DLP examines data payloads for patterns that match predefined data loss policies. Question 28. Ms. Chen wants to configure Data Loss Prevention, DLP, policies on Cisco SWSA to protect sensitive information. Which type of data classification should Ms. Chen use to specify sensitive data types? A. Content-based classification. B. User-based classification. C. Location-based classification. D. Time-based classification. The correct answer is A. Content-based classification. Explanation. To configure data loss prevention, DLP, policies on Cisco SWSA, Ms. Chen should utilize content-based classification. Content-based classification involves identifying sensitive data types based on the content of web traffic, such as credit card numbers, social security numbers, or confidential keywords. Question 29. In which scenario would implementing Cisco SWSA in proxy mode be more advantageous than transparent mode? A. When seamless network integration is a priority B 
when SSL decryption is required for encrypted web traffic C, when clients are distributed across multiple locations D, when network performance optimization is the primary concern. The correct answer is B, when SSL decryption is required for encrypted web traffic. Explanation Implementing Cisco SWSA in proxy mode would be more advantageous than transparent mode when SSL decryption is required for encrypted web traffic. Proxy mode enables the SWSA appliance to act as a proxy server, allowing it to intercept, decrypt, and inspect encrypted HTTPS traffic passing through the network. Question 30. When troubleshooting common issues on Cisco SWSA, what should be the first step taken by administrators? A. Reviewing system logs and error messages. B. Performing a hardware diagnostic test. C. Resetting the appliance to factory defaults. D. Contacting technical support for assistance. The correct answer is A. Reviewing system logs and error messages. Explanation. The first step in troubleshooting common issues on Cisco SWSA is reviewing system logs and error messages. System logs contain valuable information about the operation of the appliance, including error codes, warnings, and events that may indicate the root cause of the issue. By analyzing system logs, administrators can identify patterns, diagnose problems, and implement appropriate solutions to resolve issues effectively.